15 to 20 people. And got to, got to teaching on adultery. Shacking up. Not being married. Yeah. And as it was winding down, I had a young lady get up and run out the door. Had an elder in the church rebuke me openly. And I apologized. But I tell you what, when I got home, the Lord looked me. And I'll never forget his words. Brother Reed, his words was, don't you ever apologize for my word. Come on, brother. God's not sorry for his word. Amen. And if you believe in God's word, you won't be sorry for it either. Amen. Amen. That word is given to us to give us life. Right. Amen. Amen. Holiness is only hard if you buck against it. Right. Amen. Amen. I got saved in it. Come on, brother. Amen. I felt it touch me. I felt it right. change me. Amen. If you let it change you, it'll make a different person. Out of you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I appreciate the standard of holiness. Yes, amen. I appreciate the life of holiness. Amen. Right. Amen. Praise God. You're not going to have a relationship without with God without a relationship. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I hope you enjoyed yourself tonight. I hope you enjoyed the Word of God. I hope you enjoyed the Spirit of God. Amen. Praise God. Anybody want to say anything to the Lord? Amen. Anybody want to testify? Brother Rick. I'm not going to take much time. I know that brother preach and, and share the word, but you know, my son, and, and I, I look around at all of us, and we've all been through situations, circumstances. You have to give my voice. I try to preach to the mic, but the church didn't want me to be loud enough. And you know, I preach here when his mic's too low. But yeah. uh, you know, my son was walking the other day in the deer woods, and it'd been real dry. And then it came around. And walking down through the deer woods in the trail in the middle of the woods, no river, no way, he found a crawfish. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all eat them. Yeah. Tails. Yeah. The crawfish. And he told me, he said, Dad, where did this come from? He said, I found, he took a picture of a big old crawfish on the deer trail. And there's, you know, no water or anything like that. And I said, son, I've been told that those things can go in the ground live two or three years but no water. Well, they'll find some water down there, and then when the time comes in the spring forth, they got thinking about that. When that rain came, yes. you know, the Holy Ghost has been described as the rain. Yeah. Yes. And I thank God in all of us in our travels, when we got away from God, or when we, you know, went through situations, yeah. that the Spirit of God come on us, and there was something in there. Yeah. yeah. And the devil couldn't put it out. He can't put it right. out. Because he didn't give it to us, brother. Amen. And I appreciate that, 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 that he can pour his spirit out on us. Amen. Yes. And we don't even Lord. feel like we're full of the spirit. No, there's something in there. That's yeah. Even when you may have thought the devil put it out or maybe extinguished it, yeah. it was in there. And I got up and testified the other night the church and the preacher let me preach because he said, I seen something in you. There's a fire oh. in you. Yeah. Jeremiah said, I wasn't going to say a thing. Yeah, I wasn't going to mention yeah. your name yeah. anymore. Yeah, he said, but it was like a fire yeah. shut up in my bones. Come on, brother. And, 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 and <laughs> it's so funny. That fire the other night when we were preaching. And hadn't been, hadn't been preaching, we've been working. You know, some of y'all know we've been in Louisiana and everything. And, and I knew, when I got behind the pulpit, I knew that I was rushing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about the preacher. Yes. God said, you ain't got to worry about preaching. I'm going to move in the altar service. Yes. I'm going to put my spirit out. God's going to pull his spirit out. Yeah. And brother, I'm telling you, this brother's telling the truth. Yes. The preacher was trying to protect his people. Yes. Getting in my way. God giving me a word to give them. But he was Come afraid on. I was going to hurt some of them. Yeah. And afraid that I was going to offend some of them. I, I thought in my mind, I don't need you to tell me nothing about these folks because the one that knows everything about them. That's right. Right. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah. And then after the service was over, he said, the power of God hit people speaking in tongues, falling out the spirit, getting delivered, praying. Right. You know? And you know what he said? He said, you need a service like this every once in a while to knock the dust out. Come on. Come on. Amen. I can just about throw up. 
Yeah. Come on. Come on. Like all sin. Amen. Because the preachers scared to let the congregation feel the real power of the Holy Ghost and right. somebody right. walk in there yeah. and the power of God fall and they scared that one of their parishioners is going to get upset. Yeah. Brother, if the preachers don't let the Holy Ghost move and speak to heart because he knows what you've been doing yes, he, he knows what you've been looking yes, at he knows right. what you've been saying yeah. if we don't let the Holy Ghost move I can't bring conviction. He does. Yeah, we're right. going to have a whole yeah. church go to hell. We don't yeah. watch out. Come on. Yeah. Come I thank on. God God ain't afraid yeah. to mess with me. Yeah. I, yeah. I thank God he's not afraid to tell me, boy, yeah. you don't get that altar, you're yeah. going to bust hell right. wide open. Come on. We go hell. Yeah. See, right. the preachers, man, yeah. I'll right. tell you what. That's right. There's a leg on stand for God with Amen. some blood on them hands. Yes, yes sir. I, I'm, I'm not afraid of you. I'm afraid of hell. I'm afraid of God. Yeah, I'm right. yeah, come him. on, brother. And the blood. My wife chastises my children. I tell her all the time, leave them kids alone. She's on them. By doing this, doing that, doing that. And I tell her, leave them alone. I ain't going to tell her that. My mama say, get on. Get on. Because no, no. like that brother preached tonight, yeah. if we don't really reach down yeah. in this time. Yeah. Man, I've been, I've been around, I've been in Louisiana, I've been over and went to churches. Man, where's the, the power of the Holy Ghost? Oh, that's right. Where's yeah. people that's hungry? Yeah. Yeah. The power of the Holy Ghost. If I don't fall in your church, you ain't got church. Right. Right. If that's you're right. not there, you don't have a gospel. Amen. If you don't have any conviction, yeah. there's a lot of that's blood yeah. going to be on people's hands. A lot Amen. of people are going to die like this right. man preached tonight. Yeah. Because yeah. they tried to mix it all yeah. in. Amen. We need an old fashioned yes. blood bought yes. Holy Ghost revival among our yes. leadership. Yes. That's right. Bro, I went to a yes. district meeting and they pulled a cat up there from Gun Shores. He made a deal with a million dollar facility sitting up there with shorts with his hairy legs showing, telling us that we don't need to have holy singing in our uh, church, that when he takes over, he plays Freebird. I tell you what, we in a bad shape. Yeah. Not a minister there. Yeah. Say to God, not a minister there. Refute that man, yeah. including me. Come on. You know what I'm saying? We're scared to open our mouths. Yeah. Right? Yes. And say, you know, what kind of cat we're going to let get up there yeah. with, his, with his shorts on, his legs showing, telling us that we need to have chilling and grilling on Wednesday night. They're going to be grilling, they're going to be frying. Yeah, on the pits of hell, on the yeah. fire. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you, you're there, but he's preaching it right. Yeah. Yeah. Got to, exactly. Jesus said, I come to send a sword. Yeah. I didn't come to make them feel good. Yeah. I come to make them get the sister. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, the yeah. church is in a bad yeah. shape. Yes, it is. It's yeah. in a bad shape. And I'm just going to say today that my pastor will try to tell me to stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And God, yeah. God help me. Yes. Yes. See, I know he's a good man, but God help him. Yeah. God, I, I pray he has a bad dream or something. Amen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, God, I, I felt the Lord Amen. tell me he's going to wake that man up. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you got to wake up. Well, I thank God there's still something in there. Yes. Well, I mean, there's something in there. Like the devil tried to put that, there's something in there. Come on. Like yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen. I thank God he's not afraid yeah. of this Brad being pulled in. Amen. I Amen. thank you for letting me say something. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Amen. I just got to got to share this with y'all on the little church. I uh, a butane tank was out of gas down at seven percent, and uh, we we uh, said, well, maybe we'll make it to the summer and we'll buy gas this fall. Well, I went by the tank and I look at it, ten percent. 9%, about 7 8%. And I just happened to go by and, and uh, look at it Sunday afternoon. It's 50%. Praise God. Uh -huh. and, and I said, I, I said, where'd it come from? Was our gas man, that solar power? Was it the owner of the gas company? Wanted us to have the gas? But we needed it. I just praise God for it. Now I got to thinking, Wednesday we were working at the church. While I was out of school, and I came in, somebody had pulled a motorcycle right up beside the gas tank. Big old, had a big old tank on it. I don't know, maybe that's who delivered that butane out of that motorcycle. Because God can do it. And He does. I just rejoice in it. We're in there. Crank that in your wide open. Amen. 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 Amen.